Okay, we have another example of fungi. The rhizopus, or you can call it muko. Call it muko. Basically, just like you know, all most virtually all fungi are saprophytes. Uh, very few of them are parasitic. There is another saprophytic or saprozoic fungi. This particular rhizopus is mostly found in decaying food or overripe fruits. That's where you see this uh, fungi growing. All right, you see the vegetative parts, the rhizoid that anchored them firmly on food, stale food. You see the stolon that helps in the growth of new vegetative uh, parts, the sporangios four that hold each of the cap called spores, called sporangium. Each of the sporangium has pores. So this is the sporangium. Sporangium, that is this, this, the sac or the capsule or the cap that contains numerous spores. This pores is used for asexual reproduction because basically reproduction here is asexually through sporulation. From these numerous pores, when this sporangium ripe, they break up or they split to release spores. So when the spores drop in a fertile or in a habitat that is favorable, a new rise of spores will start growing up. But assuming that these spores in a stale food can form this, can allow this sporangium to split open. When each of these spores are released on food, on stale food, they have a tendency to start absorbing their own nutrients and grow up to this full rise of us. Very amazing type of reproduction. So it's a pure case of uh, uh, what we call it sporulation. So they reproduce by spore. Spore is a, a type of asexual reproduction, just like body. A body when is there is a outgrowth from the parent cell. But spore is organism that releases spores from the asporangium or from the asporangium spore. Uh, and when the spores are dropped in a condition that is favorable, the spores have a tendency to absorb nutrients, just like the, the rise of spores, to grow their vegetative parts. All right, this, um, this uh, rise of spores belongs to the same group or the same class of a uh, mushroom. They are all zygomycota. All zygomycota. Uh, zygomycota. All zygomycota is where you see most likely saprophytic or saprozoic fungi. 